Um, I think those allegations is something that we cannot accept. Uh, one, to evaluate one relation, the first thing, to evaluate one relation within uh, such short time is not fair. One relation has just been implemented, and I think the relations should give a chance for it to take its stay. As far as if, if, if people say government is not uh, giving enough consideration for Tamil language and Tamil literature, that's another thing that cannot be accepted. We must remember that the education minister first decided that it was going to be only 10 subjects. And this decision was made basically because students were uh, like taking 15, 16, 17, you name it, 20 subjects for examination. So they wanted to put a control. So they set a tone of 10 subjects. Of course, we were not happy because uh, when the decision was made, we did not know on what basis that decision was made. However, upon uh, having discussions with uh, non-governmental organizations, uh, with MIC, uh, which was held uh, chaired by the Minister of Human Resources, uh, Dr. Dr. Subramaniam, and also with the advice of the party president, Dr. Sri Sami Belu, we submitted to the Prime Minister in the cabinet meeting uh, that the Malaysian Indians, they want 12 subjects. And the NGOs wanted 12 subjects. So when that happened, what we did was uh, the minister submitted a cabinet meeting, and immediately after the meeting, the minister's cabinet approved that it will be 10 plus 2. That means students can take 12 subjects. Now, this government, if they are not concerned, if they are not interested, they would not have revoked the decision. Of course, now people are questioning whether uh, these subjects can be considered for their scholarship or not? And the answer is why not? Because uh, for a student who's uh, taking, a uh, large stream student who's taking uh, 10 subjects, he has six core subjects he must take. And the elective, he can choose three, and he still have one subject available. So that 10 subject can be Tamil. So if they say, uh, they, if, it, if people accuse that Tamil subjects are not included in core subjects, it's not the right thing to say. Tamil subjects is part of the core subject, and if a student wants to choose, uh, want to drop one of the three electives, he wants to choose two electives, and he wants to choose number nine Tamil language and number ten Tamil literature, so it goes into the ten core subjects. So I don't see where is the argument that the government is not concerned for the Malaysian Indian and the language. Uh, however, of course, there is opportunities and avenues for us to bring this forward to the government of Malaysia, through the minister. And asking the minister to step down is actually telling us to, sh uh, to shut the gate to the government. Uh, he is the only man that represents the Indian community and the party. He's doing a great job. He has created many avenues for Malaysian Indians through this government, to the support of the Yangama Brahmat Prime Minister, who is very, very uh, obliging. And this is one man who has said, never say no to the community. And this is the Prime Minister who has been giving us plenty of funds to rebuild Tamil schools, to give more, uh, you know, and, uh, more, more facilities, more uh, uh, computer uh, labs, uh, setting up computer units, uh, setting, uh, setting up better facilities in school. So with a man with this kind of vision and assistance to the Malaysian and Indian community, it's very unfair for uh, uh, individuals or even uh, people to say that uh, he is not helping the Indians and the government is not caring for concern for the Indians. So I think it's very unfair and I think uh, what is important right now is not to uh, overreact, not to be too emotional. Uh, we have always carried out a system whereby we negotiate, we discuss and the outcome most of the time has been fulfilling the community. And MIC will continue to do that uh, with a good Prime Minister like Dr. Sri Muhammad Najib. Uh, we are certain that whatever shortcomings has, uh, uh, has happened in the last few weeks would be overcome in a matter of time.